Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the payroll system in VB.net. Okay, let's go to the lessons. First, I am going to uh, click File, New, Project. Here I am going to choose Visual Basic with Windows Applications. Here you can give the path which you want here. Uh, just click the Browse button and you can give the path. Let's click OK. Now here your new uh, form uh, created successfully. Now I'm going to design the form. This is the login form I'm going to design. So here I need two labels. We want to drag two te uh, relevant text boxes. We have to make the alignment. Need two buttons. This one for login. You have to change the text as login. This one should be cancelled. Click on this button, you can write like this. Here you have to, before the L, you can uh, put the uh, hand sign mark and press enter key. You can notice that you can see the underline below the L. The same thing you have to put here as well. Center key right here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to change this one as username. This one should be password. Click on the form, you have to change the name as login pay roll login. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Now select the password text field and here we have to make it as this one as password chart. We have to apply the password chart because it should be the password text box. So you have to make it as password chart and present key and apply that. Right now, let's see the things. Right now, select the form and start position should be select as center center screen. Click start here. You can see here if you type the username and password. If you type here, notice that it should be changed here. Right now, let's add the codes for the login. Right now here, before uh, go to the codes part, I'm going to create another form. So project add windows form. Here I'm going to this one should be main. So main dot pp. Click that button. Right now let's check here. So go to the database. I'm going to create the database here. I'm using the SQL Server 2012 database here. Uh, I here I'm going to log in the database first. This is a login. The uh, SA password should be admin123. SQL so username and password. Here I'm going to add admin123. Right. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to go to the uh, folder database folder. Right click new database. Here I'm going to create the database as com com payroll after create the database you can see the database here okay this is the database com payroll here select the database and click this plus sign and select the uh, tables folder and right click and uh, create the new folder so 
select the option new table here here I'm going to write ID this one should be int here we have to change the things as auto increment so go to the column properties select the identity specification here you have to change it as yes right so it, it, it will be incremented by one right now the second thing username data type should be you have to change it as watch right here password it should be watcher right now after fill all the stuff you click save button here it asking to create the table name I'm going to give this login click OK now your uh, database has been created and table has been created successfully if you, if you want to see the table if you click refresh here the table should be here it created successfully right now back to my project window here uh, here first time what I'm going to do is here uh, I'm going to uh, double click on this login button here goes to the above here above the public class here I'm going to add the namespace SQL namespace so import system dot data dot SQL client right after that I'm going to create the connection so dim con as object as connection SQL connection class we have to write the SQL connection class equal new connection here we have to provide the path of the SQL connection so here I'm going to write server I'm connecting the local server so dot okay uh, there are uh, somebody have some doubt about this uh, giving the established connection if you have any doubt go through the SQL database and here this is the data. this is how we have to connect the database SQL server 2012 here SQL server this is the this, this is the thing you have to write dot means a local server so that dot okay otherwise you can uh, put your uh, machine name right so here SA mean uh, login password I enter as admin123 right the same thing validation you have to write here so here second stuff is database database equal com payroll this is a database I created after that user ID equal SA password equal admin123 right that's the stuff after that I'm going to create another stuff is dim dr as sql data reader this one after that we have to create the sql command dim cmd as, as SQL command. After that, we have to write dim. I am creating two variables: dim user name, comma password. As string. After that, we have to create another variable: dim SQL as string. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to write the code for that. So double click on the login button here. Here I'm going to first write is I'm going to equal into this text boxes to the relevant variables. So here I'm going to change the name as I click properties name as here txt username. This one should be txt password right 
now here double click on the login button here you have to write as i have already created two variables username and password here i am going to equal into the relevant text boxes so username equal into txt username this is the text box name dot text call the property text property after that password equal call the relevant text box name txt password dot the property which is a text right itself right now i'm going to check the conditions so i'm writing the if if to uh, i'm going to write the if to check the condition if the first time i'm going to type if the username and password blank or not okay if the user type blank we have to provide the error right so here have to write blank and password equal to blank right if both text box should be blank we have to throw the error as message box to throw the error as here enter the username and password username and password password comma we have to write the error title as error comma message box button message box button start okay message here okay, like this message box something went wrong okay, this one message box buttons dot okay comma message box icon message box dot box icon dot error we have to call this one right that's the only thing we have to do right say so right here as uh, right here we have to write what whatever the thing is you have to write like this message box dot show right now the error go away with right the stuff you have to write uh now else write else you have to write as a open the connection dot open you have to write the variable score uh, sql uh, select all from login is a table name where username equal single quotation double quotation double quotation single quotation in between uh, double quotation you have to write to and sign here you have to call the in between the and sign you have to call the variable name it's control c to copy control v to paste here right after that we have to check another another thing and password equal to the same thing you have to write here just instead of writing you have to copy this one control c to copy control v to paste here here we have to change it as a password right and then you have to close the this now present key right after that i'm going to write the cmd to check the connection and query sql command you have to write the sql command you have to write the hash here sql comma con after that we have to write here as tr equal cmd dot execute reader after that we have to check if tr dot read equal true mean true mean you have to write whatever you have to write whatever you have to write is uh, dim f2 as 
form 2 sorry uh, main main sorry which form you have to visit main form so main right equal new main right you have to write like this press enter key right perfect now after that we have to call f2 dot show you have to show the form after that me dot hide mean we have to hide the current form so me dot hide that's only thing we have to write so if the username and password not correct we have to write another else part and we have to write the the same message you have to select this one control c to copy control v to paste here and change the message as login fail login fail you have to write like this login fail right. you have to write like this right. that's the thing we have to write uh, now let's go to the form second button is cancel so we have to write as this one actually exit right exit why what's the problem ah sorry not exit you have to write as end right now let's see this one now i have no problem now here if i type username like this click ok uh, login button here yeah, what's error near the right the problem is come here ah, here the error is here i have put two equal sign that's the error right now it's worked properly okay check type the password click login button here login fail now here if you the username and password blank here enter the username and password blank uh, enter the username password now here if you write the uh, here i didn't write any username password here i'm going to write here as this one should be auto incremented here admin i'm going to write as one two three here i'm going to again i'm going to enter the another password as raja three two one right right now let's save all now here go here we have to run the query right now here enter the correct username and password admin here it's successfully visiting to the main form right now i hope you guys you understood so far in my next tutorial i will continue the next part in the payroll system uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime thank you for watching